TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. In this video, what we want to do is we want to add an HMI input to make this a three input AND circuit. So we already have the left green push button and the left yellow push button tagged to the Siemens trainer from our TII Technical Education Systems training equipment. So what we want to do now is we're going to add in another input. And we're going to tag this to, we're just going to refer to this as HMI input. And we're going to go through the process of defining this as a memory tag. I have a video set up um, on all of the steps that's required to do that in a previous video. And so now what we want to do is we just want to go ahead and download this. Now this is downloaded to the PLC. What we want to do is we want to bring back our project tree here and we want to expand out the HMI. So we'll go to HMI screens, we're going to go to the root screen, and we're going to walk through all of the steps of adding this to the PLC. So we're going to come down here and select libraries, and I have a video that shows you how to all the steps on uh, putting in an HMI input. So we'll go a little faster here than I did in those. Drag your input out here, expand that out, make it touchable for the operator, double click on it, we're going to go down to tags. Now again, notice that the tag is not here, All right, no problem, we just come over here to specific tags, expand out our PLCs, click here, and here it is, your HMI input. All right. Come down here, select the check button. and the tag appears in the properties for this. So now we know that this uh, input, this HMI input, is tagged to the HMI memory that we created. So we'll click onto our workspace here, and we want to download this to the HMI. So now you can see that the touch, the HMI input is on the actual uh, Siemens touchscreen. So what we'll do is we will come back to our main OB1 screen, minimize, uh, minimize the project tree, and let's go ahead and turn the monitor function on. So now, to get this output to go true, you have to have the left green push button activated, the left yellow push button activated, and the HMI input. So first, let's verify that the input's working. Select this, it's going green. Select again, it goes false. So what I'll do is, I will activate the input, and this is a latching input. So what I'll do is press it once, then I can push the green push button, the yellow push button, and as you see, the light comes on. All right, if any one of these is not activated, the output will not go true. This is a three input AMP circuit using two real world push buttons and an HMI latching input.